Welcome to Richmond International Raceway. Or Speedway, or whatever they call it. Either way, the real race is happening here this weekend. Nationwide Series and Sprint Cup Series. Uh, it did decide to... The rain decided to flood the infield. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video, it flooded the whole infield. The whole thing just flooded. You could see pit crew members and tires. This did affect the Nationwide Series and not the Sprint Cup Series. Um... The thing that makes there's a key thing for you to know. This here is the first race at Richmond. They are running the second race before the chase. I am running about the eighth or something race of the season. They are running the twenty sixth race of the season. And Jewel, you had to open the door. Do you know how to close the door behind yourself? And I didn't see the starting lineup. I'm starting first. Joey Logano second. Uh, Clint Boyer third. And Jimmy Johnson, 4th, Greg Biffle, 6th. Here we go. Having got a race win since Bristol, or Auto Club. I have 3 wins this season. Las Vegas, Bristol, and Auto Club. Now my previous race at Richmond... 26 race of the previous season which really started my bad streak in the chase um, I cut down below the yellow line to make a pass and the thing thought he's going to pit road so let's make him go to pit road so I slowed down room everything fell back to about 10th and couldn't recover finished third in that race but that was the best that I finished um, really for a while after, third is my best, and I was at Richmond. So, the start of that chase last season was bad, but we're hoping to get a little bit different run of a chase this year. I don't want to do the same mistake as last time, so I got into Edwards, cut up in front of him, cut him, made him hit the wall hard. Okay, so these group of cars right here really did just get by me, but, um... We'll take those two back out of the race. Um, so Keselowski really slowed up. That allowed Biffle to really hit hard on the brakes. And that slowed up his whole momentum. Let me to get by him. Here we go. Lap 5 of 8. Looking for my fourth win of the season. Uh, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. also among that group. Kurt Busch, Tony Stewart, and Marcos Ambrose. Or Marcus, but I like to call him Marcos. Marcus Ambrose. Okay, so there's Bush on the inside line. Really working that line, too. He's going to try to get by me. It's inevitable, but I'm going to hold on tight. So I did slide sideways on the lost first place, but now this here is the result of it, losing a couple more positions on the track. So the only car maker not to have a win yet in my season is Toyota, here in season 2 of NASCAR 14. So, so far we have a Ford and a couple of Chevys locked into the chase. Uh, so we'll see, does Toyota get locked into the chase? Right now it's looking pretty good for them. But not if I can run that line, run that line nicely into Harvick. Hamlin's there. I'm going to break just a little bit later than Hamlin. Can't block them both, but I'm going to try to. Boom! <laughs> Richmond International Raceway. My fourth one of the season. That gives me 12 bonus points so far into the chase. And that's the kind of thing you want. 12 bonus points over all the other drivers who right now only have 3 bonus points. So that really does give me a good shot of the chase. You win, you get in. But the thing is, is that those bonus points help in the first round, but not the second round. After you get to that second round, you're on your own.
your regular season wins don't matter no more. It's all about your chase wins. So the thing about the chase is that if you win, you get to the next round. This is what makes this chase so much fun. You win, you're in. So if you can win one race, you get into the chase. That's what makes it cool for like some of the drivers that did actually win the chase, like... Eric Almarola and AJ Allmendinger, who would have thought that those cars would have been in it? But they are after a good um, chase run. Both getting a win, they're in the chase. Casey Kane, nobody would have thought he would be in it, actually. But all the Hendrick drivers are in it. So with my four wins, I think I have um, I think we have two wins with the red and white paint scheme. We have one win with the Clorox disinfecting wipes, and we have one with the Axe piece. The only one we don't have a win with yet is the silver target car. But we're heading to Talladega next. And we're using the silver car. So anything can happen at Dave. Well, that would have been a cool spin. I would have smashed the wall hard, so. There you go. Coming out of the car, Kyle Larson. Winning it again. The Beast. That target number 42 car into victory lane. NASCAR strictly stock. Ninety-eight camping world. Ron Hornaday Jr. I hate him sometimes. Yeah. Four ninety-nine, that's where we're going next, the year in four ninety nine. Jimmy Johnson won two thousand twelve, lost the race. And, uh, Kurt Busch moves back up, Kevin Harvick up, Austin Dillon down two with that. So I have four wins, Kurt Busch has one win, Marcus Ambrose has one win. Cole Witt, when did he win? Oh, maybe he won the race that I wasn't paying attention to. He's got a Toyota, so Toyota is in. Okay, Tony Stewart. And uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. So Cole Witt's in the chase. That's the thing. Like I was saying, like any driver, you would not expect Cole Witt in the chase. Or Marcus Ambrose. They're both in it. Thank you for watching.